Howdy, parents. Um, as we are entering in this next week, we are going to be doing virtual learning through its learning, and we wanted to make sure that you knew how to access all of the expectations uh, for your students learning this week. So if you open up your web browser, you simply type in SSO portal CCSD, it should automatically populate as the first option. And then um, your student has their login information. However, we know that they have been on break. And if they need a reminder of that information, you may contact your student's teacher immediately and we will make sure that you have that information. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit more options because I'm a teacher, but I wanna point out the apps that are gonna be vital for learning. The most important app this week is going to be It's Learning. All subject areas will have assignments um, for reading, writing, and math, there's going to be two hours of expected work this week in each of those subject areas, and then 30 minutes of science and social studies. But there will also be expected assignments for their block period of, um, of art, music, and PE, as well as their homepage for morning meetings, okay? Other apps that are going to be important are Dreambox, Lexia, EverFi, and STEM scopes. So these other apps are going to be vital to make sure that your students are getting the maximum education that they can in these, in these times. So you'll click on its learning. If you do not have a laptop, this is also available via app in the app store for both Apple and Android. Um, the Clear Lake City Elementary homepage is gonna pop up for everyone but your student will go to courses and then whatever course that they want to work on that particular day or whatever time frame, however they're breaking it up, they're going to click on it. And so because I'm math, I'm going to click on the mathematics course. And when they click on my course, everything they are going to need for their learning is on the front page. They are not going to have to go into anything up here at all. Everything is on their front page. And so... Every teacher page is the same for every subject area, including block. We want to make this as uniform as possible so, so parents and students know exactly what to expect. So what you can expect every week is there is going to be a teacher message that walks the students through the page of what they're going to be learning and what the expectations are. Math, we've provided just a weekly checklist of the order of importance. So... The most important thing is for them to do their online assignments and it's learning and submit all of the assignments that are due by Friday. They also must complete 90 minutes of Dreambox, which is in another app that is in the SSO portal. And they must complete one module of EverFi a week. EverFi is a financial literacy program that the district has adopted um, to teach that TEAK. You will see that number four is optional. That is just for additional math practice. I will still be assigning things in Khan Academy, but those will not be graded. Those are just additional assignments to help what we're learning up here. Okay, so vital. Um, there will be two learning goals per subject area every week. So this week in math, we're doing, um, we are doing elapsed time as well as multi-step addition problems, okay? Resources. For learning. This is where students will have access to video lessons for those goals. So goal one, elapsed time, here's the video in both English and Spanish, and here's some additional helpful tools. Same thing for goal two. This is just video learning. How are they learning the information? Here's where you find it. Okay, these are the things that will be submitted and will be due, okay? So for goal one, there is a practice place up here. Students are allowed to do this with their parent or a teacher, okay? They can have support in this area. This is a digital game. This is an actual assignment, okay? And then independent practice has to be done by the student alone. In this case, it's going to be six problems. We want to see as much student work as possible. So if they solve these problems on pencil paper at home, we would love a picture of that work and for it to be uploaded as you are, as they are doing the assignments. There's going to be places for them to upload their work and their evidence. We want to see as much student thinking and as much student work as possible. Um, 
So these assignments are due on Friday, okay? Other resources here, here's just a fun interactive kind of quiz um, questionnaire uh, for the class to have an interaction. Um, have questions. So I've set up a discussion board for students to be able to ask me questions during the week. I will be on this discussion board regularly throughout the day, answering student questions about the lesson and about the practice questions. I will ha also be having a live chat option on Wednesday morning from nine to 10. So students can log in, get on the chat and be ready to talk about the practice problems that they did here. So the practice problems with parent teacher, this practice problem and this practice problem, I will be working through those in that live chat. Uh, Ms. Harrigan is um, a is our math interventionist on campus. She is in our classroom on a regular basis. Your students know her. If they have personal questions they want to talk to Ms. Harrigan about, they can email her at that email address. Um, and then there's going to be a differentiation. And so this is for extra support. If your student is really struggling, needs toolboxes, we use tools all the time in our class. We know that we can't give you those, but they are made available online. And then if your student needs an extra challenge, wants to complete a project, this project has to do with both of these learning goals and it can be completed in PowerPoint or Word. Like I said, the structure is the same for every subject area. Some teachers may have a little bit more, some teachers may have a little bit less but we are all on a learning curve to make sure that our students are learning to the maximum capacity in the given situation. Please feel free to email your student's teacher if you have any questions um, or if you did not understand an element of this video. Thanks and have a great night.